Hello, this is Craig Lane with Health Alchemy YouTube channel here to talk about foundational self-care. Very similar to our sun salutation release video also on this channel. The basic routine as it stands is you can look up a couple of names if you want to look up some diagrams on Dr. Google as I call it. And one of them is Surya Namaskar. The other is sun salutation. But Surya Namaskar is, I'll just give credit to the old yogic asana language. So that's the more correct way in their language system to give respect to it. So we start standing in a standing position. Typically how we stand is we do a quick check in. How's my standing mountain pose? Is my weight balanced front to back on my feet? Is my weight balanced side to side on my feet? Is my weight balanced inner and outer part of my foot? So on the bottom of the foot, you might say there's a tripod. There's the two bones at the front of the foot, and then there's the heel, so there's a triangle. Next is a forward bend. You can have your arms out in front, up high, like wings. What feels good to you? Is it play? Let your child be creative here. So as you're diving forward, so to speak, make sure the front of the body is open and you're not crunching down either that you're keeping the front of the body open as you're bending forward. And don't force it. You come down as low as you can get, whether it's to your knees, hands to the floor, hands behind your ankles. It doesn't matter. This is not about reaching where someone else goes. This is about you connecting with you. So you're in your forward bend now. Now raise your head slightly and then you go back into upward facing dog. This is an extension pose. If you have trouble with your back and you feel like you don't want to do a hyperextension of the back, rest your knees on the ground. Do not keep your knees raised up off the ground. It's an easier variation of this pose. Then you go into upward facing dog and you're going to very quickly raise your butt in the air and go into downward facing dog. But typically in this pose, we want to be able to get our butt as high in the air as possible, feet and hands flat on the ground. And from downward facing dog, we do what's called a toe release. And that's very simple. You're moving your toes back and forth in a rhythmical motion nine times on each foot. You'll hear cracking, popping and all that. That's great. In Taoism and ancient Chinese medicine, there's a saying, joints cracking means your yin is lacking. It means the moisturization of the joint is not good and it's cracking because it's dry, basically. Do that quickly. Now we're going down into cat pose. Your knees are below your hips, your hands are below your shoulders. And notice on the inhale, I'm stretching into an extension. I'm bringing my belly down and stretching the front of my body out. I'm gonna do this nine times on the exhale. I'm going to do a flexion and bring my mid back up in the air to stretch the back of the body. And it's a rhythmical motion, inhale down, exhale up. Inhale down nine times, slow or fast, depending on how much time we have, how much gentle, how gentle we want to be with our body. The cat stretch gives more space in the spinal facets, so there's more circulation available to the entire body. Wonderful use of time. After cat pose, we go back into upward, and then downward dog. It's a sequence called vinyasa. Once we're back in downward dog, then we're set up for bringing our right leg forward. And I like to raise the light right leg behind me way up in the air and then down and up in front where the ankle is below the knee directly. Then you bring your arms up in the air three times and I call it, my focus here is the chest and I'm releasing all the tension in my chest. So three times bringing the arms up and around Great. Now hands are by the sides. We're raising the neck up to stretch the spine, the upper spine and the entire spine upwards to get more space. And then as I exhale, I notice I'm dropping down and I'm checking in with my legs in the splits with my right leg forward, my left leg back. I'm just checking in and taking three deep breaths as I stretch those two legs. Now I'm bringing my left leg back, going back into the upward and downward dog sequence, resetting myself raising the left leg up, bringing it forward, landing it in a position where the ankle is directly below the knee, 
almost like a dance. The better you get at this, like it's fun to me. It's, it's a dance-like movement. Now you do the same thing. Three big circles where you're releasing the chest. You're releasing all the tension in the heart around the chest cavity. Looking up, arms at the sides, stretching out the neck. On the inhale, exhale, landing back down. You can be on the ground to rest your legs or you can be, there are variations of this and some of them, the most basic average one is shown here. After your three breaths of stretching your left leg forward, right leg back, you come back to upward, downward dog. I like to do a nine count breath in downward dog at this point. If you have sore wrists, you can just make it a one or a two breath, just check in. Make sure the energy, if you have wrist trouble, that the energy is more in the top part of the hand, not down, down near the wrist, and on the outer index finger, not towards the thumb and the hand. Make sure your hand is balanced on the ground, that there's not weight on any one part. There should be a balanced, open weight on the hands to save the wrist. And once you do a, anywhere from a one to a nine breath count in downward dog, you jump or step the feet forward stretch out the front of the body again as we're looking up and forward slightly then we're folding back down into a forward bend coming up is your choice i like to do the wings i like to do the hands out to the sides coming all the way up gathering the energy bringing it back down into the earth what i call flushing the toilet or composting my own waste back into the earth hands back up towards the heart and then the hands opening from the heart and giving my clean energy from my heart to the world. That's the finish of the practice. And I'll be darned if every day I've done this for 25 years, only missing 10 days a year, is it's a guarantee every single time I feel clearer, energized, better brain capacity, better able to connect with other people. I have never seen a negative state arise from doing this ever at any time. Probably done it thousands and thousands and thousands of times. If you count 25 years, at least 350 times a year. What does that add up to? I don't know, but it's a lot. Probably 15,000 times I've done this. So I can tell you from experience, you will never get a negative result. If you hurt your wrist or whatever, I hurt myself in yoga too. And if you hurt yourself, it just means you push too hard. And that's not the point. Yoga means union. Yoga means your breath, your body, and your mind are united where you're in a state of satori, where the questioner, the judge, the one who is thinking is more in the background. I really want to thank you for watching and bringing in your own self-care, which makes the world a better place. My name is Craig Lane with Health Alchemy, and this is the Health Alchemy YouTube channel. Again, if you'd like to see more, we have lots of other self-care videos on our YouTube channel. Thank you very much.